All right, Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. I had done the uh, Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 in an early or episode of Until I Die. It ended up being too long though, because I played every game in the in that collection straight through, all in one episode. This I'm gonna split it up. So we have Mega Man 7. Now this was the first true Mega Man like original series Mega Man game that came out on this generation. Mega Man X, which is definitely X, not the Roman numeral for 10. They really should have thought more about that title before they released it. Mega Man X predated Mega Man 7. But this um, X was a different character than Mega Man or Rock Man. And um, this was the original character from the original series back on the NES days, Mega Man 1 through 6. So this game actually came out surprisingly late in the SNES life cycle. You know what? You know, I might not be right about that. There was a sort of remake of Mega Man 1 through 3 on the Mega Drive or the Genesis. I wonder if that predates this. Probably does. But anyway, this is Mega Man 7. The first and only Mega Man game on the NES or the SNES. Super Famicom, I guess some people like to call it, even though they're the same fucking machine. This game's got some problems. I remember being really excited about it when uh, when it first released, and then I when it didn't get I. It took me a while to get it. I think I I rented it actually. I didn't buy it. I rented it. Because, you know, rent money was expensive and rentals were cheap. <laughs> All the kids from my generation are very familiar with the whole concept of renting games. I guess kids nowadays don't really have a place to rent games from, so they don't really know what that's the experience of that. Games were also more expensive back then. Games are cheaper now than ever, so people complaining about, like, the PS5 games costing $70, like, calm the hell down. It's cheaper now than it was before. Even with that $10 price hike for the PS5 games. But anyway, first game on the SNES for the original Blue Bomber. And I'd have to say, I'm not a fan. I mean, it's got the gameplay style of the original Mega Man, but it's also... I don't really need to see all this story stuff in a Mega Man game. Like, long dialogue scenes, all the characters take too long to talk, that kind of stuff. Mega Man X did it actually pretty well. Wasn't much of a story in that. There was some dialogue, but there wasn't a lot of story to tell. It wasn't as intrusive as it is in 7. And... Here's most importantly, uh, what I really don't like about this game comes down to a decision then that they made with the graphic style, which influences gameplay pretty significantly. Look how big Mega Man Sprite is on the screen. It's big. It is surprisingly big, and that changes the way the game plays because you don't have as big of a field of view around the character in this game as you do in 1 through 6 or even X. X I think had a larger sprite than the old Mega Man games but it wasn't this big. I know what they were thinking. You're like, oh well we want a big sprite because we have this big beautiful Mega Man sprite. We want to show all the new detail that we can in the SNES and um, well this is the result. Still got that old Mega Man style gameplay, but it's just confined. If that's uh, if that makes any sense. What are these things called? Hard hats? Oh, there's a bolt. Oh, did I get it? <laughs> Saving. Uh. Is 
Vulnerability frames. And... Oh, man, I hate tense jumps like that. I was hoping you'd have an energy tank, but I'm not going to... Oh, alright, so... It's, it's got to loop around. It's one of those things where, like, the... Kind of the shackles were taken off of the developers of the limitations of the original NES and the result was something that wasn't as good because sometimes you need those shackles to really to really spur your creative juices if that makes any sense I mean I remember being in in college and having a taking a writing course and having a, like uh, to write some crap or whatever and the occasions where I was like held up by the fact that I had some bizarre sort of restriction on what I could do like write a story without naming any characters or something like that that's when it actually would end up churning out something that was better because the, that restriction may sound like it's just bad news all around, but it actually forced me to think harder about what I was doing. Oh, alright. Ah, fuck. Ah! Uh, oh, uh, that wasn't as bad. <laughs> Come on, I need an energy tank. Does, uh... Do I, do I just have one? No, I don't. Okay, I'm at the Robot Master, and I'm gonna die. This episode's gonna be seven minutes long. That's pathetic. Oh, he's a big bastard. See, I was, uh... Uh... What am I supposed to do about that? He threw a board cube at me, and I died. <laughs> seven minutes and 25 seconds. Alright. That's gonna be it. Did not do well.